Here's a game on 3DO for a change, Gex. Gex was kind of like the mascot, like the, the Mario of the console. See now Gex, he's like one of those characters, kind of like Bubsy or whatever, that they were trying to make like, oh, he's so cool. Like, look, yeah. he's got the sunglasses and all that. You know, back in the 90s, remember like Nintendo would try to do that with like the Super Mario World stages. Everything was like radical, bodacious. So they always tried to do that back then. It's like, oh, we'll make the cool character. Mm -hmm. So Gex is really just like another cheap kind of generic. Oh, look, he's cool. If it's you're Gecko some kind with sunglasses. Of like, if you're some kind of like, like either like a reptile or like a, 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 basically anything green, any like the Ninja Turtles. Going off the even, Turtles fame. Even Bucky O'Hare, they made green. Yeah. You know, it's like. <laughs> it's a rabbit. It's cool. It's like, <laughs> Yeah. By the way, we got uh, Kyle here with us today. Kyle's here, and Kyle is a huge fan of the 3DO. He plays it almost every day. Kyle is the oh, yeah. expert at the 3DO. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over the fact that the character is a gecko lizard, so... Yeah. Now, oh, speaking of Ninja Turtles, they had Mondo Gecko. Remember yeah, him? Yeah, I remember Mondo. That, that, yeah. That's who he reminds me of, is Mondo Gecko. Yeah, he's very, um, he's very animated. Very animated. That's just the best way to put it. Shit. I don't like, uh, speaking of the animation, the, the way the screen scrolls is a, a tiny bit... Um, Annoying. Yeah, that's the word, I guess, or disorienting. Yeah, I can see that. And, I, I, and since not, I'm the one playing it, I can tell you that it kind of is. Yeah. And it's not as much as Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout, but <laughs> you know what I mean? That with game that. makes me sick. Um, 3DO, it was after Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, so it was after the, the, you know, the 16-bit kind of thing going on. And it was before PlayStation, and um, and it was Panasonic, and I always knew Panasonic as the company that made fucking televisions. Yeah, and so it's Philips who made CDI, right? You know, but then Sony came out with the PlayStation, and I was thinking, oh, the PlayStation, that's just going to be another 3DO. You know what I mean? Right. Then what do you know? The PlayStation, PlayStation comes took over out the world. and it changed <laughs> the fucking world. And I was just waiting for the Nintendo Ultra 64 at that time, so I didn't get on the whole PlayStation bandwagon. I, I kind of just missed out on that. Seems like we got a little Halloween theme going on. Yeah, yeah. it's a little a little horror-ish. It's interesting that usually when you play a game like this, like if you're playing a Mario game or something, the horror stage doesn't come until like later. Yeah, you this know, is the first one. This, yeah. this starts off with it. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Oh, he got like stuck. Okay. The, uh, the face on the moon's pretty cool. It's like Majora's Mask. Oh yeah, yeah, it's tail time. Okay, okay so wise cracking gecko. He is a wise cracking gecko. How creative. Oh god. Oh, he, 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 what is that? Get, get out of it's there! Not, get out. It's not doing anything. Wouldn't let you jump. See, I'm like hitting this, and it's not doing anything. Really? Did, did the controller just break? It's like the controller is not good. I'm gonna get another one. What is that flying thing? That's a t flying television. television. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Haven't you ever seen a, tele a helicopter? Hel <laughs> hella, te hella television? It fits the horror It's thing, a hell of yeah. a television. <laughs> All right, now. Okay, this isn't doing anything. <laughs> it's doing nothing. No, nothing. Oh, no. Let me see this. Yeah, you better put the other one back on the other one. So I guess we better. got these two controllers going in the garbage here. All right, everybody, this is what we go through in these videos here. N controller number three. All right. Let's try this one out. All right, give All me right. a shot. Yeah. Okay, this one works. Can you jump? Yeah. Good. Oh, this one looks like it works good. All right. Yeah, this one definitely seems to work a lot better. This controller, piece of shit. <laughs> now, by the way, now that I finally have a, a working controller, you can do that, and he, and he can kind of, like, bounce on his tail. A lot of themes going on, like hands and... <laughs> Golden crickets and horror and flying TV. It's, it's a little much, isn't it? <laughs> what was that? A Polaroid camera? Yeah. Gex kind of has a thing for technology, I guess, huh? Techno Gecko. Techno Gecko. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. See, look at all the TVs. I finally made it. The exit. Now somebody else can finally play. Oh god, give it to Kyle. Wait, do I give it? Wait, you do give I give it to it Kyle? Kyle? Hang on, hang on. I think I can exit. How do I exit? Uh, something Is it, with the TV. That says exit, right? Yeah, the TV. Okay, the exit, yeah. there you go. Oh, you hit, right, you cool. hit up. You hit up. Uh, Every level you collect a remote. Oh yeah, you can't use the tongue on those guys. I've been using mostly the, the tail. Yeah, I haven't figured out really what to do with the tongue yet. I gotta get better at using my tongue. Get better at using your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Leatherface. Or, or Jason, Jason Voorhe actually, yeah. Jason Voorhees, but with a, uh, I think he had a, a chainsaw. leather face chainsaw. Yeah. yeah. Now, Mike, do you consider the control like a little delayed? They're trying to animate him so much that the character animation is delayed, Ooh. which makes it seem like it's delayed. If that's too much of an explanation, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Kyle. Yeah, we can get past them. Kyle, you're fired. <laughs> Take the remote control away from Gal. So is Gex like a like a, He's a technical he, mechanic or like either a, that or a couch or potato? Kind of <laughs> okay, yeah, I can see either one. <laughs> so. Do you just feel that like because 3DO was a failed console mm -hmm. and Gex was I guess their mascot that you don't care about Gex because you know for a fact that he's gonna have no longevity because now here we are in 2015 playing this game so it's like what's the point? Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, I mean, the thing is, I, I, I've had an, my share of green mutants and reptiles and things. You know, it's like, like I've, I've seen it all. Yeah. It's kind of just like not special to me anymore. It, it's just kind of like a subpar game of something you really want to be playing. Like, let's play Donkey Kong Country, you know? Right. Like, next yeah. time. What makes Donkey Kong Country better? Oh, well, like everything, pretty much. Like, I mean, like what? The control, the, the, the graphics, the design, the sound, the music, uh, <laughs> like. Uh, Every the, aspect, basically. The, the fun factor, the replay value, uh, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> the characters are, are like, They're the, more appealing. You know. um, but I mean, th this is not horrible, though. This is I'm sorry, fuck. I'm not yet. This is not, yeah, not yet, <laughs> at least. But, I mean, this, this is. There's nothing like wrong with it, and I, I am curious about it. That's why we put it on because we wanted to see, you know, a little more about. We played it a little bit, like 10 years ago, I think, you and I. Yeah. Um, I think we were looking for... Uh... Actually, no, it was like in the early days of ABGN, we were looking for like another game. It really was. I think we had just got the console because we were probably looking for yeah. a game for ABGN, but we played this and we are like, oh, well, this isn't bad, so then we moved on. Yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't bad enough. Yeah. I don't think this game's it, bad it, it at really all. It really isn't bad. Like, no, yeah. it isn't a bad game. It's just... It, it isn't like great. It's That's like, it's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I personally think what I don't like about it is that it, it, there's just no theme. You got a, a, a gecko lizard. Yeah. And you got this, these horror themes with cemeteries, and then you have flying televisions. It's just like, well, it's yeah. too much randomness. Well, that know? was very, well, you could say that about a lot of things, though. Like, think about, like, Mario. It's like, it's like, oh, Mario, he's like a plumber, and he's like Italian. And Earthworm like, Jim like, is really random. I know, but for like, some reason it yeah. works with Mario. I don't know why. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. I think that they, and like Ninja Turtles, it's like such a weird thing, but it worked for some reason. But maybe there's like a good story that backed Right. Backed it Ex up, exactly. You know I mean? There's reasons why the popular and ones. Portals. Are... This also, also has like portals. This yeah. Is like... Well, the portals, as you can see, they're static in them. Yeah. It's and to I be think like... they're again they're going for like the television kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, they tried to go with like some kind of tech technology theme. He's supposed to be collecting remote controls when he beats the levels. It's yeah. Just, just a little strange. Yeah. It it is strange. But I I feel like a lot of these third party kind of um, systems like like the there was bonk for the turbo graphics 16 then for the turbo duo <laughs> there was uh, air zonk so each system had its own mascot there they were trying to go for mm. and they all wanted to be mario basically well, gex was kind of just another failed experiment bubsy was a failed experiment pull down what does it mean by pull down i mean I, i'm guessing yeah i'm guessing push, push down. down it's saying yeah. pull down it's calling it pull Pull down, don't push down, but pull down. <laughs> pull down on the D-pad, James. Pull down on the D-pad. <laughs> Not only do we beat all these levels, we have to find the remote in each level or else you can't do anything. I think for the next level system, it just wasn't that impressive. It's just, you, this is 32-bit, right? You know, you go from the 16-bit mm. war up to the next level. You go from a cartridge to a CD, you expect the CD to be better. Oh, there it is, it's right there. Oh shit, okay, it was like part of that thing, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's the run button. Oh. See, I just never had time to really like, Fuck! I hit. I then I got myself fucked up. I hit B to jump. It wasn't B. It's whatever it is. C, I think. Did you, did you right, keep I, it? I hope so. Oh my god! <laughs> this is gonna take forever then. And you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna die. We're gonna because we're gonna have, we have one life. Let's just start over. Also, when we start, go to options, and, and that, I bet it's gonna give us more lives. And yeah, shit. that's another thing continues. I want to do. Yeah. Do we get any more? Oh, is there no life? Nope. This game is brutal! So, three lives. Uh, let's not die. I know when I'm not wanted. It's kind of like Bubsy in that way. He's got like annoying like little phrases. He's like a wise cracking, yeah. like, you know. I know when I'm not wanted. I guess Mario can be kind of annoying too, to be completely fair though. Oh, it's a me! Oh, watch out for Jason. Leather, leather well, face leather Jason. Leather Jason face. Sweet. 
All right. <laughs> Making progress. Fucking them up. Who opened the can of whoop ass? Who opened the can of whoop ass? That's what he just said. Yeah. yeah. This is like 1994 and he said ass. <laughs> that was great. That was worth it just for that.